do vegan men have better swimmers than animal eaters? I'm talking about sperm, in case my innuendo wasn't obvious enough. So anyone that's seen the documentary The Game Changers knows that there's fascinating new science emerging showing that vegan men have both longer lasting and stronger erections than animal eaters. The penis is the region of male bodies most radically impacted by blood flow. You mean shrinkage? Yes! <laughs> Significant shrinkage. Cholesterol clogs your arteries. Cholesterol does not exist in plants. On the flip side, plant-based protein has various nutrients that loosen up your arteries and improve blood flow. This isn't rocket science. Rock it in your pocket, get it, let's move on. We also know that vegan men have higher testosterone levels than animal eaters, and higher testosterone is correlated with healthy libido and sexual health. So plants are good for your eggplant, so plants are good for your banana. But what about these nuts? <laughs> what does the science say about sperm health and food choices? According to a recent study published in the Journal of Reproductive Sciences, vegan men had approximately 25 million more sperm per load than men on a normal animal carcass-based diet. Vegan sperm also had higher motility, which in this context means individual vegan sperm were better swimmers. And shockingly, the sperm of those weak corpses, much like zombies, weren't just slower, their sperm were more damaged. And the results of a related study showed that those who eat lots of higher fat dairy products like cheese also had more damaged and abnormally shaped sperm. The other reason plant-based diets lead to better sexual health is also very relevant for women and has to do with the high antioxidant content of plant-based foods. That's also one of the reasons that vegan brain food is good for both male and female sexual health because the amino acids it contains have powerful antioxidant properties that can help prevent damage to both male and female genitals that happen as a result of living on such a polluted planet and as a result of just the passage of time and aging. And because nobody ever fucking listens to the scientists and we're still using toxic fuel vehicles in the 21st century, even though electric cars were invented in 1893, toxic pollution finds its way not just into our lungs, but it also falls back down to earth and finds its way into all of the world's fresh waters and soils that we grow our food in, and from there into our bloodstreams and bodies. So I think it's always a wise decision to protect ourselves as much as possible from that pollution with a diet rich in antioxidants. Now, some people may hear all this stuff about veganism being good for sexual health and think, cool, but I'm lonely. I am so lonely. I have nobody to call my own. Ooh. So a big part of meeting somebody the opposite sex, same sex, whoever you're into, is luck. It's circumstances. It's out of our control. So fuck it. But in the part that's not luck, a huge part of that is personality, which is something you should never change. You should always be yourself and find somebody who loves you for who you are. Unless you're an asshole and that's getting in the way of healthy relationships, in which case you should try and be a nicer person. But you know, another huge factor is that people, all animals really, care about appearance. And the food that we construct our bodies with, surprise, surprise, has a huge impact on what we look like. The most powerful way of which is, of course, through maintaining a healthy weight. And the reason that plant-based diets are superior in that sense is, is really obvious because plant-based foods are primarily water. They fill up your belly and make you feel full. They fill you up with good phytonutrients, with protein, with fiber, with all the things you need, but they have less calories and fat in them than animal carcasses. If you're already vegan, but you have a problem in that um, there's way too many delicious vegan junk foods out there and you do want to lose some weight, I'm going to be doing a video very soon about seven ways to lose weight if you're already vegan. So if you haven't subscribed, what the fuck is wrong with you? Hit that button and that's coming out real soon in time for the spring slash summer. And being a healthy weight is not just obviously good for your physical health, it's also good for your mental health, both for completely physiological reasons and improving body function, improving blood flow to the brain, declogging the arteries in your brain, and for the much simpler reason that just like when you get a good haircut or you're wearing a new piece of clothing that you really like and you're kind of feeling yourself, you feel more confident. And that confidence can help give you the push to get out there, whether it's in the real world or on dating apps or whatever. You know, the stats on how many people are lonely these days, on how little sex people are having these days, are staggering. There's definitely something wrong with our culture. And don't get me wrong, the world is severely overpopulated. I'm not saying we need more humans, but consensual sex, protected sex, that's good for everyone involved. <laughs> and yet we live in a society that is in many ways more free than it's ever been, more sexually liberated than it's ever been, but where people are having less sex. What the fuck's the point in that? For fuck's sake, people. Pun intended.
But as soon as I talk about weight, I know a lot of people are just going, ooh, 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 ooh. oh my God, this is fat shaming. You're the fucking worst. People can and should be whatever weight they want. Listen, absolutely nobody should be ashamed of their weight, should be ashamed of being fat or overweight or obese even. Especially when we live in a society that literally encourages people to eat trash. Did you know that pigs are made of trash? That all those ads you see for bacon and pork and shit are advertising for you to eat trash. But aside from the literal consumption of garbage, even when it comes to, you know, vegan junk food, it's almost miraculous that 100% of our population isn't fat. When you think about the fact that we evolved in an environment where both fat and salt were very scarce. And as a result, our taste buds and our instincts tell us to seek it out. Because fat can help you survive a drought, can help you survive starvation. So it makes so much sense from an evolutionary perspective that we crave fat. And now that fat is readily available everywhere and it's dirt cheap and it's subsidized by the government, I mean, I'm surprised that the obesity rate in the United States isn't higher than it is. So absolutely don't be ashamed of that. But the insane political correctness can go too far, is going too far, because if you care about other people, you should also know that being overweight also leads to this long list of diseases, many of which are lethal. So if you're going too far down the road of, you know, crucifying people who are talking about weight loss and saying that's fat shaming, we never discussed this shit, people are just whatever weight they are and it's fine if they're twice the healthy body weight for their height and whatnot. Just know that you're encouraging people to not only get sick and get diseases, but in the long run to end up shortening their lives. Anyways, I have so much more to discuss on the topics of weight loss, sexual health, should vegans date animal eaters? That's a question I'm gonna be talking about soon, but I wanna keep this video short, so be sure to hit that bell if you're interested in those topics. Live long and prosper. Vegan power. Use protection, y'all. <laughs> Peace.